Hey folks, got a new recipe today. Uh, recently I had bought some slices of plain Havarti cheese and uh, I really, really did like it. And it just, it got my mind thinking. Normally you see Havarti dill cheese, like, you know, Havarti cheese that has like dill weed in, in, in the cheese. And the flavor of dill and Havarti, they just go together so well really good so i started playing around with uh you know a small little slice of havarti on a cracker with a dill pickle <laughs> and I, you know i'm eating them like that's a great flavor that's a really great flavor so i started more cogs started turning in the brain and i'm trying to come up with like a good recipe that wouldn't be silly or stupid and uh like just just a dill pickle on a slice of Havarti on a cracker is fantastic, but that would make a pretty boring video. So I decided I'm a I'm a big fan of pimento cheese, and I've done a few other videos, you know, hatch chili pimento cheese and a bunch of different pimento cheese videos. So I started playing around with the idea of a Havarti pickle and pimento cheese. And uh, that's what I got today. Here's how I made it. And then come back and uh, I'm going to give it a taste. Here I've got eight ounces of freshly grated Havarti cheese. I had to get this from the deli. I just, I went to the deli and asked them for a, an eight ounce hunk of Havarti cheese. Because I couldn't find Havarti, you know, already, you know, in a, in a brick style so that's eight ounces so here i have a quarter cup of finely chopped dill pickles this is one of my favorite brands so just use your favorite brand and then a uh, quarter cup of minced jalapenos or diced jalapeno or pimentos <laughs> not jalapenos come on and then a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of the pickle juice and then here I have a half cup of mayo use your favorite mayo I thought about using Dukes for this but I like Dukes but I think Dukes might have been a little too much because it has more of a vinegary flavor and then I want to just add a few grinds of uh, fresh black pepper. I'm not going to add any salt just yet because I got a feeling this might be salty enough with the dill pickles and the, the, the cheese. I can add salt later after I uh, get this all combined. So just combine this really well. And it, it's looking really good. I, I like that combination with the pickles and the pimentos. Give it a quick taste. See if it needs any adjustments. Okay, it's good. Needs no salt. So I'm not going to have to add any salt. But I would like a little bit more of uh, black pepper. So a little bit more black pepper. It's to taste. If you don't want it. Don't even add it. If you want cayenne pepper, add that. Okay, now I'm gonna refrigerate this for an hour and then give it a taste. Here it is. It looks really good. And uh, I'm, I'm really liking these deli containers for, for stuff like this. This is coming into work uh, with me tomorrow. And uh, there's a lot of pimento cheese fans, and they really like my my hatch pimento cheese, and then uh, they will enjoy this. So let me give this a taste. So I guess technically this is still Havarti cheese, a pickle on a cracker, but it's a little fancier. Oh yeah. Cheers. Oh boy, I need another one of those. Wow. 
Just wow. That's it. That is my favorite pimento cheese right there. Vardy, pickle and pimento, cheese spread. Those flavors are so, so spot on together. The, the flavor of the Havarti and the, the, the dill pickles. It's just, and it's, it's just the right amount of pickle, just the right amount of pimento. You do get that flavor with the, the pimento, so it does kind of taste like a traditional pimento with that added flavor of the pickles. And I can't believe nobody's ever done this before. I, I did some searching and uh, I haven't seen any company come up with uh, this particular pimento cheese spread and I'll tell you folks try it just try it yourself you will absolutely love this and uh the folks at uh, work tomorrow are gonna love this too so well there you have it folks go make yourself some and thanks for watching